Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my friend Michaela. She is a master trainer and she is going to be teaching a class for all of us today. I am um, gonna bring some dance um, conditioning to you. Things that I used to do with my teen dancers back in my dance teaching okay. days. <laughs> so you're gonna feel like pro dancers by the end of this. So I'm good. Excited. Um, I am a master instructor trainer for um, the International Ballet Bar Fitness Association, IBBFA. Um, and if you're interested in getting certified to teach bar yourself, you're going to want to visit barcertification.com. So IBBFA is actually the company that I got bar certified with as well, and I highly recommend them. It's great. They have such a strong technical background. And it's 100% online. Yeah, so it's 100% online. For those of you that love working out online, you're going to love getting trained online. Yeah, for those of you who have children, <laughs> I will link the ball and weight set that I use in the description box below. These are one pound. Yep, nice yeah. and light. But if you're at home and you have like water bottles or cans or something like that, you can use that as well. Alright, we're gonna get started. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's stand while our shoulders up, down the back. Do that a few more times. Ah, oh, work out those kinks, that feels really good. Yes, posture. <laughs> One more time. Let's turn the legs out. Nice big ground plie. Bend the knees, reach the hands overhead, sweep them down, straighten the legs, bend the legs and squeeze to straighten. I want you to think of squeezing paper plates underneath your feet as you straighten those legs so you engage those inner thighs to bring them together. Let's go. Down, a little faster. Down, and up. Down, squeeze. Four more times. Use that breath. Keep that chest shining up. Tell them to the floor. Let's come down halfway and hold. Bring those arms out to your side. Roll those shoulders down the back again. Good, lace the ribs up like you're wearing a corset. Little one inch pulses, go a little lower down, down. Good, tailbone is heavy to the floor. Ribs are gonna stay connected the whole time. Stay right here for eight, seven, six. You ready to let those thighs burn a little more? Yes. Right heel is gonna go up, right heel. Down, up, down, up. Keep the ankle locked in place. So try not to let the heel lower as you pulse. Eight more right here, eight, seven. Use your breath. I know as you get fatigued, that's the first thing to go. Switch your heels right heel down, left heel up, down, up. Make sure those knees continue to go wide. Don't let them fall forward. Yeah, stay nice and wide right here. Seven, six, four, three. Both heels down. We're going to go all the way down, all the way up, down, and up. That nice full range motion should feel good. Flush out that tension. Yes. Four, three, Two. Getting warm. <laughs> Yay! Good job. Arms are going to go wide. We're going to just do a little step tap. Step touch. Taking it back to aerobics, AD style. Yes. <laughs> Reach out. Find that run plie every time. Bend those knees. Tap those toes. You're going to take your right arm out to the side and then overhead. Out and over. I use that breath. A little flow. Yeah. You are your own biggest fan, literally. <laughs> Good job, let's do four. And three, two. Hold both arms out, it's hard to coordinate switching sides. Yeah. Hold right here. Same side, here we go, reach it wide, then overhead. Out and over. Good. It's nice to keep that second arm just placed in that second position. My husband always marvels at my arms. <laughs> Not using big heavy weights, just right? making that placement yeah. and single pound little weights. One more, then hold those arms out. Good job. Bring those arms forward. Little mummy stance here. <laughs> you're going to pretend you're pulling on 10 pound weights. 10 pound tethers. Pull that little row. Every time you tap, pull. Can we get a little lower? Down, back. Yeah. Heel kick, kick your booty, little hamstring curl. That's it. Keep that chest shining up as you get fatigued. It might want to start to fall towards the floor. Stay lifted. Let's do four, three. The legs are going to keep doing what they're doing. You're going to switch and pull overhead and down. That's it. Heart rate climbing? Yes. <laughs> I'm warm. Yes. <laughs> Ten, nine, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Step those legs together. 
Roll those arms up and back. Feet are gonna go right underneath you. You're gonna lift your leg up to touch your knee, your standing leg. You're gonna shoot it back behind you as you bend your standing leg, tap the wall behind you. And then lift, come right back up. Whole standing leg balance is tough. Yes. If you've got the balance, you can extend those arms in the opposite direction of the leg. Pull it right back up. I'll show the side view here. Everything reaches in opposition. Reach long. Pull, lift up. Press the palms back behind you as you lift. Good. Reach far. Whoa, balance tough right here. <laughs> Let's do two more. Reach that foot back. Tap an imaginary wall. And then squeeze and lift. If you're doing this like in your living room, shoot for higher than your couch, right? Lift that leg nice and long. Whoa. Last one. Second side. Shake it out. Leg lifts up. Here we go. Lift that knee and then shoot it back. You get to take a soft little bend in that standing leg. Whoa. Lift right back up. Add the legs if you've got it. Add the arms if you've got it. Whew. Chest shines up every time. Good job. Reach it long. Serve a platter and then press those hands back. Reach through. Lift up. Good job. Two more. And press. Last one. Good. Reach it up and through. Next one. Step back to a lunge. Reach your hands down to the floor. Step your other foot back to come into a plank. Find this balance right here. Just hold. I'm going to turn again. Side view. Single knees are going to dip down to the floor. Right and left. Tap down. Imagine you've tied a surfboard to your back. Everything nice and long and steady. Eight. Seven. Ha. Last four. Ears in line with those shoulders. Three. Two. Good job. Hold that plane and eight more counts. Roll the shoulders down and back. Push your upper spine through those shoulders. Tailbone draws up and under. Hold four, three, two, one. Step it in. Release your hands. Roll it up to standing. Whoo! Roll those wrists out. Grab those light weights. Ball stays behind here. I need the wedge into the ball. So we don't have a runaway. I don't know. Still might be running. It still, still might get sassy on us. All right, so legs are gonna be rotated in that first position, heels are together, knees are gonna bend. We're gonna shoot our arms straight out to our sides. Elbows face slightly forward so that they're not drawing towards the ceiling and dropping down in the elbows. Roll it down, little circles, forward. Good, I'm gonna show you again, side view. Make sure our arms are behind us here. Everything in the back space is nice and long and attached. Four, three, let's reverse our circles. I promise you, if all you have are pencils, you can still do this work. Oh, yeah. It doesn't take much resistance. It's more the engagement, more the focus, yeah. finding that connection. Four, three, two, hold those arms, lift the thumbs up, lift. Right here is where those ribs are gonna wanna try to separate yes. this. Oh, Eight, seven, good, six, four, three, Pinkies up, thumbs down. Is that kind of how you're feeling right about now? Thumbs down. You're reviewing how you're feeling. Woo! We have eight, seven, six, four, three. We're going to alternate thumbs and pinkies. Here we go. Thumbs, pinkies, thumbs, pinkies. I don't know if it's the slight sunburn on my shoulders or the actual work, but I'm feeling it. <laughs> and down. Something's happening here for four, three, I have good news. This round is over. Bad Woo! news, we have a second round. Oh, Heels lift up. So you're gonna pop up onto a little triangle underneath your feet. Again, ankles lock in place. Weight is on the first and second toe. Circles forward. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> nice and long in that neck. I want you to imagine there's like a dumbbell distance between your ear and shoulder, right? So really squeezing those shoulders down the back, engaging through the lats and through those ribs. Four. Three backward circles. First option to go. If you need to modify, it's those weights down and those heels flat. Okay? Take what you need. Eight more here. Eight, seven. Woo! Woo. Last four. Thumbs up. Little pulses. One inch. Lift up. Lift up. Make sure you don't feel 
your shoulder blades winging around. We want it to stay nice and connected behind you. Lift up, eight more here. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, holy balance. Nice. Ease up, eight. Yee, this is so fun. <laughs> Let's do eight, seven, six. Press those heels firmly together. Bend the knees a little bit more. We're gonna alternate and we're done. It's thumbs up, pinkies. Hook, thumbs, pinkies, thumbs, and let's do four. Thumbs and pinkies. Three, oh boy, two, oh, that's it, let it go. Keep the weights in your hands, but roll those shoulders up and back. Pull out that neck. Heck yes, sister. Yes. Let's take a little lunge position. One leg forward, one leg back. Shift the weight slightly forward. We're gonna keep working those arms. Shake them out, let it go, let that tension go. Palm space behind you, lift the arms up and down, up and down. Again, side view here. My palms face the wall behind me. My elbows are nice and straight. It's nice and controlled. The weights don't come forward. We stay behind our hips. Lift, lower, up and down, that's it. More weight is on that front foot, but that back foot is still engaging to help you. Three more. Two. Hold the arms up. Wrap the palms towards one another. Clap your hands. Clap it in. Clap. Clap. Good. Try to keep those elbows straight. Don't let those arms buckle to get those arms close together. Six. Four. Three. All right. You're going to reverse your arms. So you're, you're like an alien. You forgot how to clap. Palms face away. Reverse clap. In and in for eight. Seven. This one's hard to keep those elbows straight. Make it smaller if you feel like your elbows buckle a little bit. Palms face back up. Crisscross those arms. Again, keep those arms nice and straight. Yes, mama. That's it. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Last thing. Palms face back together. Bend, extend. Kickbacks right here. Pull in and press. Pull and press. Good. Belly stays nice and connected. Let's do four more right here. Four, three. We're working on some endurance here. We have a second round. Bring that back foot in. Step that other foot back. Palms face up. Whole round again, second time. Lift, up, lift, lift. We're gonna make this second round smaller, faster movements. Still same pattern. Straight arm pulses right here. Holy moly. Rotate the palms, clap it in, little tiny ones, clap, clap. Can we go even faster? Clap, clap. Whoo, round of applause for those Good. triceps. Eight, seven, six. Neck is long. Reverse claps. These might have to go slower depending on your coordination. As soon as we start getting things behind the body, all of a sudden our arms are like, I don't know what you want me to do. This doesn't feel like it's what it is. Four. Three, two, palms up, crisscross. Oh yeah. We're making it so that those kickbacks, those bend extensions, actually feel good. Crisscross. <laughs> Shift that weight forward on that front foot. Four, three, two, palms face back in. Last round, kickbacks. Bend, extend, you guys. Elbows act as a hinge. Don't let your upper arm change at all. Just a little bend and then reach them all the way straight. Ooh, let's do four more, Kelly. Four, reach back. Three, two, big stretch. Good job, let those weights go. Oh my goodness, stretch out those triceps as well as your shoulders overhead. Ooh. Catch your breath. So Amazing good. how we were just standing still at my heart rate. Still up. Oh, yeah. Across the body. Same thing here. It's amazing you can get that burn with one pound. Yeah, yeah. It's great. It's the best. I'm telling you, challenge. I want pictures of everyone doing this with pencils. <laughs> They'll still feel it. Yeah. All right, weights are going to go back. We're going to do a little cardio here. So I know a lot of us don't even have a full bar set up at home, right? So we're gonna try to focus on just body alignment, try to get our bodies moving just with what we've got, just ourselves. We're gonna turn the legs out. You're gonna start with just a little curtsy lunge, and then once you step all the way back, then you're gonna step across to the other side. So step back. If you've got it in you, I want you to reach the opposite hand across. Step 
and reach, step and reach. So I'm showing like a modified version here, not really jumping. If you're doing this class in sneakers, this might feel better to add a jump. You don't need to listen to your body and give me some point of feet through. Yeah, point and land. Oh, I love point. it. Yes, <laughs> little glee saw action. Yes. Reach. It's been a long time. <laughs> Bring the chest up every single time. Up, tap down. Lift, and then there's like a full abdominal crunch to get that hand to the opposite side. Reach and land it. Use that breath. Up. Whoo. Good job. Two more. Let's stop. Second time right here. Lift that chest up. Bring those hands on those hips. Just pulse in the curtsy lunge. Down up. Knees are gonna go wide right here. Don't let them fall forward on me. Keep them turned out. Eight. Six. Four. Three second round. Let's jump again. Out and land it. Out. It does feel good to kind of flush it out of the system. Yeah. Let go of any tension you built up in those pulses. Uh oh, I know I'm getting tired. My feet aren't pointing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rush. One of my favorite tips to point your feet is to think about stretching through the tops of the ankles yes. rather than gripping underneath. Next one, let's stop and pulse. Reach it up. Hands on those hips. Knees wide, down and up. Catch that breath. Knees wide. Chest stacked right over those hips. Down and up. Eight, seven, holy moly, four, three, two, one, let it go. Ooh. Oh my goodness. So good. Woo. We're going to give the cardio a quick break. We're going to use the barbell system, but any surface is fine for this next one. Left, I'm sorry, right hand is going to be on the bar so you can watch me here. We're going to zip everything up like we're from you know, one leg underneath you here. <laughs> everything connected. This hand's just gonna rest on the hip. We're gonna use this as an opportunity to catch our breath. Heels are just gonna lift and lower nice and slow. Up and down. Up and down. Can you do this with just one finger touching the bar? Just the slightest little touch. This is another. I didn't know how much I'd use my dance teacher tips. You're gonna play piano on that bar. Right, nice and light. That's what you're looking at. Lift and lower. Let's do four more like this. Up, press down. Three, feel those glutes squeeze a little bit more at the top. Next one, hold it up right here. Lift up high, tailbone heavy, chest shines up. You're gonna release the tension and lift it all right back up, half down, up, lift, up. Good, as you get fatigued, one heel maybe wants to do a little more work than yes. the other. <laughs> Try to keep it all going together. Little lift, lift, down, up. Like the air is deflating out of your balloon and you gotta squeeze to lift it all back together. Little lift. Four, three, stay with me. We're gonna do four pulses. Three, two, then two full range, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Again, four, three, two, Ooh. one, two, all the way down, all the way up. Two more sets. Little pulse, little lift, little lift, little lift. Make sure those knees are straight, lifting on those quads. Keep them nice and long. Four, three, two, one, lower down, lift it up, cast stretch coming. Right here, let it go. Oh, turn to face the bar, stretch it all out. Hi, yay, yay. All right, second side, same thing, first position, okay? Heels together, inner thighs together. The heels do separate when we lift, but then they come right back together as we lower. Other hand on that hip, tailbone heavy. In four, three, just lift and lower to start. Here we go, up and down, lift. Yeah, so especially the second set, the knees may start to buckle a little bit. Keep those legs nice and straight. Lift and lower. Have you gone through your whole checklist? We still have to think about those fingertips. Light on that bar. Lift and lower. Notice we want the weight to be on like this first and second toe. Make sure we're not rocking back to our pinky, right? We want to stay nice and lifted up so that we're not weakening in those ankles. Three more here. Two, hold it up at the top. All right, little balloon release. Half down, up. Little lift, little lift. That's it. Up, down. Let's try both hands on our hips. Down, up. Little lift, little lift. I lost it. That's all I can do. Here's four pulses. Three, two, one. Lift, 
two, one, two, full range down. Lift up, down, lift up. Here's the back of you. Four, three, two, all the way down, all the way up, down. Two more times, a little lift. Oh, you notice I'm wearing your hamstrings? You're working more to rotate. Lift and lift. Good. Four, three, I think I lost count there. One more round, all the way down. And up, last one, big stretch right here. Oh, oh with the music. Yes. I don't know when that happens. So I'm going to shake it all out. All right. Ready for another round of cardio? Hi. <laughs> that was our chance to catch up. That was the warm up. That was the warm up. Now you're warm. Just We're going to do a little high knees. And you don't need to jump here, especially postnatal. If you don't feel comfortable jumping in this space or the body you're in here today, just a little twist right here. If you want to jump, it's just a little toss. Same idea as before. Let's point those feet. Ten, nine, eight. Keep that chest up. Good. Four, three, two. Step the right leg back into a lunge. Hands on his hips, down and up, all the way. Lower and lift, down and up. I want the chest again, stack right over those hips. Try not to shoot those hips back, straight down, straight up. Imagine there's a yoga block under your back knee. Tap it every time, four more. Three, two, let's toss it out again. Here, or slow. Draw that belly up and in, yes. Feeling that zip reach through the core every time, yes. 10, nine, eight, four, three, two. Other leg goes back in that lunge. Hands on those hips, down and lift, down and lift, yes. Good job, staying in it right here. Catch that breath. Down, squeeze it. Four, three, two. Last one, you just step out of it. Oh, ha. House grab water if you need. Take a break. We're gonna grab our ball, turn to the bar. Oh boy, oh my goodness. Ball is gonna go in our hand and it's gonna be our visual aid here. So I want the ball to be lower than even my wrist. As we get tired, we want to do a chicken wing. We're going to try to resist that. So arm reaches out to our side. Other hand has the bar. You're going to take your back foot in a little coupe, okay? It looks like it's ready to scoop some dirt off the floor. So we make a number four with that, like turning me out to the side. You're going to lift the leg up into the space behind you. Squeeze lower right back down. Let's go fast, lower, up and down. I want you to feel that catch in the glute every time yeah. that gets to the top, right? All the while, not letting chicken wings happen, right? So we're nice and rounded. If you feel like your hip is changing when you lift that leg, you can put that ball on your hip and let it give you some feedback, right? So it's going to stay nice and contained. Good job. Let's do two more. Hold that leg up right here. Point that footing more. In other words, stretch through that ankle. Lift one inch higher. Lift up, lift, pull that pelvic floor up. Imagine you're zipping on a pair of pants. Two sizes too small. Yeah. Zip through those lower abdominals in opposition while that leg is working behind you. Come on, spin, booty. Oh, yes, let's do eight, yeah. six, four, three. All right, I'm going to turn to the bar to show this one. You're going to cross over and then return. This is not permission to let it go to Chinatown, right? <laughs> Keep it nice and contained. Just a little over and then return where you started. Over, return, over, return. That's it, good, reach, return. Imagine your shin is on a table. It doesn't get to go lower every time. Let's do four, three, two, one. You ready for more? Straighten that leg out, reach the forward head. Tap down on your diagonal and lift right back up. Arms stay here, down and lift, down and lift. We have the option here to bend this bottom leg. It will do two things. It will give you more range of motion, but it will also challenge that standing leg for more stability. Right. So don't do this if you feel like you're already struggling to work that leg. Just leave it spot. 
solid. Lots of options here. Lift and lower. Up and down. Let's do four. Three. Two. Hold that leg up at the top. Take this ball. Invite it to the party. Wrap it behind. <laughs> ball blooper there. All right. Wrap it behind. You want to see some pressure at the top. Hand on the hip here. Four arms to rest on your surface. Circle the leg around. Circle. Circle. Yes! Four, three, you know what's coming next? Reversal. Yeah. <laughs> Just in the back, we're having fun. Reverse your circles. Four, three, two. Take this time to enjoy it. Nice full range. Reach across the body. And then pull your elbow by your thigh. And then return. Yes, exactly. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. In theory, the shin and the thigh, I'm sorry, the forearm and the thigh can parallel to one another. Reach, return. Yeah, let's do four. Three, four, two, one. That ball out. Not too far. Give yourself a three or four stretch. Both sides are going to need some love there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't make the rules, you just happen to have two legs. You gotta do the side to side. Oh, ready. We're ready, we're ready. <sighs> Arm is out. It made you think about the shoulders a little bit. Yeah, right? absolutely. It has to kind of hang out on the way. Like no hanging arms. <laughs> right foot wraps around behind. A little less attitude here. Up and down. Up. Yes. Good. Again, piano fingers light on that bar, so I'm not duck gripping here trying to make everything else happen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can you do two fingers on your surface? Again, if you feel like your hip is getting involved at all, this ball goes on the hip, and you're going to let it give you some feedback if your ball is wiggling, if your hips are moving too much. Up and down. Yeah. I know you think I'm crazy, but the standing leg gets more work here because it's already fatigued and it's just stabilizing here. One more hold. Rock those shoulders down the back. Lift and then try it. Up, lift, and lift. Good. Stay with me. Make sure that elbow is not dropping down. Eight, seven, six, four, three. That crossover. So you reach your foot behind the standing leg, return it. Here's the front feel, right? Cross it behind little peekaboo. Reach across. I want this inner thigh to feel it, yeah? Reach and return. Across. Reset every time. Eight. Seven. Six. Belly lifted. Nice and long for four. And three. Two. Here's that diagonal. We extend the leg from where it is. Straight out. Arm extends on the diagonal. Other arm gets to rest. Forearm down on the bar. Lower limbs down and up. Down, you have the permission to bend that standing leg. Again, it's not going to make the load any easier. It works more to stabilize, but it does, it does give you some more range of motion. So you've got some options here. Down and up. Keep everything else like it's in a body brace. Nothing changes. Four. Up. Good. Three. Two. One. Good job. Reach that ball behind the thigh. Wrap and squeeze. See some pressure in that ball. Hand on the hip. Circle the thigh. Around. Forward. You're right. Forward. As you get fatigued, you start to notice this ball gets a little less pressure on it. Keep that squeeze happening. Let's do eight. Seven. Whew. The marker is in your kneecap. Reverse your circles. Make them smaller. Oh, yeah. Your top oblique should be working as well to keep you right stacked on top. Three, two, we're not done yet. Take the ball in your hand again. Reach and extend, pull it back. Reach it long and pull it back. Good job. Reach and pull, reach, pull, yes! Oblique should really be feeling it here. Reach, squeeze. Let's do four. Let's do three. Two. And one big stretch. Holy Toledo. Your side butt will 
remember them tomorrow. Yes. Another stretch here you can do if that figure four was just moving up. Crisscross the legs. Stretch to the wall. Oh, good one. We're gonna do a few more Pilates things and head down to the so floor. So ready. Oh man. Woo! I'm at 215 calories. So good. Yes. Oh boy. Can we do this? Legs are gonna go. Okay. Legs are gonna be out in that wide stance. You're making a triangle with your legs. We're gonna reach those arms back out on the diagonal, uh, back out to our sides. Wrap around a beach ball as you bend in the knees and then open everything as we straighten the legs again. So it goes like this. Bend down low. Open, extend. Let's go faster though. Bend and stretch. Good, bend. Our one pound weights are best friends. Yes! Wrap and reach. So don't let your hips go back at all, right? Straight to the floor and down. Squeeze up. Imagine you have a yardstick tied to your spine, right? Ooh, We're not doing squats yeah. here. Although there is certainly a time and a place no, to go. No, we're not doing it yet. Woo! Down, up, let's do four, three, two. Hold the plie, open those arms back out to the side. Wrap around, frame your face to a beautiful portrait. Open your arms back out to the side. Same change with the legs. Straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Good, up. And down. Again, noticing those shoulders. Are they shrugging to make it happen? Keep them nice and low. Oh man, heart rate climbing up. We're moving so slow and methodical. In two. All right, plie is gonna stay. Knees are bent. Track right over those arches of the feet. Arms are gonna wrap first to second to fifth. Oh, to second. Front, side, overhead to the side. Front, side. Front, side, notice our chest doesn't get pulled forward as we move. Are you going to go faster? Yes. One more slow. Let's make sure we're all on the same page. First, second, fifth. Here we go. First, second, fifth, second, first, and fifth. Woo! First, fifth. My old lady shoulders are crackling. First and fifth. Port de bras in ballet means the carriage of the arms, right? So we're not just working those big muscle groups. We're working all through the back, all through the chest. Front. Front of my back. Yes. yes. Bend a little lower. Four more. Oh, so me. Three. It's only because I love you, too. Uh -huh. Last one. Let uh -huh. those weights go. Oh. Roll those shoulders, walk those legs in. Try to get some core action. Like we haven't been working it the whole time. Grab your ball again. Let's face each other here. Ball is going to go wedged behind our sacrum. So right at the back of your sip of your seat, you're going to scoop underneath and make a big C shape with your body. Roll the shoulders down the back. Grab your weights in hand and reach them far away. Press the numbers down onto your thighs. Yeah. So depending on how long your arms or torso is, this might be on the kneecaps. Bring it up a little bit here or here. Use this opportunity, yes, to shine up through the chest without losing that secret. That's tough. Lift one arm overhead, let's go. Up, press down, lift, press. Instead of crunching, we're pushing down with that arm, engaging all the way through the lats, through the obliques. Up, press down, press, squeeze. Good job, four more here. Three more, two, one. Both arms go together. Lift, lower. Notice we're not tossing those arms back, right? In our peripheral vision the whole time. Up and press. If you need to modify, the weights are going to go down. You're going to still do one arm at a time and hold behind the thigh with the other arm. Up. Let's do four. Yes. Three. Two. All right. We're going to press those weights down, but stay in the secret position. Grab behind the thighs. Lift our front leg up off the floor. Oh, way less stability all of a sudden. Shoot that leg out to a straight position. Bend it in, let your chest come up to the thigh. Good. Reach back, pull in. Elbows are going to stay nice and wide. Try not to death grip on your legs. Light fingertips right there. Press and pull. Press. All with a smile on your face. Yes. Four more. Three. Yeah, two. 
All right, same thing, other side. Plant that foot down, other leg extends. My shin is parallel to the floor. This is our home base, this is what we're coming back to. Reach it out, pull it in. Reach out, pull in. These are those deep abdominal muscles, not just your six pack abs. These are what stabilizes you, your postpartum. This gets lots of love, needs lots of support, lots of work for daily function, not just for how our abs look, but how they feel, right? Out and in. Squeeze. The more work you're doing with the arms, the less work you're doing with your abs. So try to keep those fingertips light. Let's do two more. Last one. Take that ball out. Lift up. Just pinch it off to the side. Stretch yourself in a little butterfly stretch. Hold over. Yeah. Oh, so good. We're going to go a few more things. While we're down here, we might as well stay. Ball's gonna go. Actually, we're gonna put the ball underneath the feet. Okay. I'll show you here for a bridge lift. Our body is flat. Palms plant on the floor. I want you to roll your ball, your um, arches. I'm sorry, your arches over the ball. Balls with the feet on the floor. This is gonna be your starting position. Notice my boots are already hovering off the floor to start. This is the bottom of your bridge lift. Lift up higher. Press those heels on that ball. Lower it down. Lift up. Down, and up, yes, down, squeeze. I love it. Notice that your abs might want to release at the top. I need them to squeeze tighter. Hip bones lifting to the ceiling. Down, and up, in two, hold it at the top. Pulse a little higher, lift, up an inch, up an inch. So those balls on the feet give you a little bit more traction, a little bit more stability. This should feel like when we did those calf raises, those little half ups. Little lift up, little lift up. Do you know what I'm gonna do now then? Oh, <laughs> Four pulses, then too slow. We'll wait for our music to change. We need some beat to inspire us here. Four pulses at the top. We have four, three, two, two full weight all the way down, all the way up, down. Three more sets, little pulse, pulse, lift, lift all the way down and up. Two more just like that, four pulses, get it higher every single time, then down and lift. Last one right here, four, three, two, and lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, all the way down. Grab that ball in your feet, bring it to your hands, and wrap the hands around the legs. One more thing, ball in between the thighs. In between the knees are higher, so definitely not the shins. And then we're gonna bring the knees over our hip bones. So we're at a 90 degree angle at the hips, at the knees. Knees are perpendicular to the floor. Hands go behind the head. Curl the shoulders up off the floor and lower back down. Lift it up and lower down. It's challenging to not bring those legs into the body here as you curl up, right? Your legs probably wanna do something like this. I want you to keep them stable. Lift up a little bit. Lower down a little bit. Lift up and lower down. This time when we lower, reach those toes out on the diagonal. Reach everything back in. Don't let those knees pull to those shoulders. Stop at that 90 degree angle and then reach out. The last thing I need you to be mindful of is this back on the floor, right? So keep it contained. Make it smaller if you need to. Pull everything up and lower everything to extend. Notice this basically doesn't give you a break. You're constantly working on the up and the down. Isn't that it. more appropriate to how we feel in life? We don't get a break, we just feel different. <laughs> Lift, lower. Let's do eight faster. Out, up, and down for four, three, last two, last one. Let it go. Take that ball, get the feet, get rid of that ball. Hands overhead, legs out long. Open your ribs for the first time this whole workout. Let the ribs go, release it to the ceiling. Doesn't it feel so good to be rebellious? Yeah. All right, we're gonna stretch a little bit. So let's roll over to one side. You're gonna face forward. Let the arm go up over by your head and rest on that bicep. Open the opposite hand out to the other corner, other side. Reach that arm up and around. Good 
job. You're gonna take that top hand now, grab the thigh. Same thing, reach across this time, you ball that top leg. You can let that leg kind of flop over, so it's crossed over. I want you to bring up that spine like you're a wet wash rag. And then we're gonna circle that arm around. Come to a seated position, keep the legs crossed. So you're gonna find a little pretzel twist right here. Lift up nice and long, add space between the ribs and the vertebrae. Right. Hook the arm over, twist around. Amazing Thank job. you so much. Bring out our hair. <laughs> 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 